This time I started fresh on Brazil main, one of the most chaotic servers out there. As soon as I spawned fresh on the beach, I made my way to the underwater labs where I found a Thompson and I began farming people. And you can't spell Brazil main without a constant DDoS. Okay, uh, he's cheating. Nice. Bro, how are you not getting DDoS? After looting the snake, it, I managed to snag an MP5 from an airdrop, which my recording is fucking corrupted. So let's just get to farming a couple naked for them. <laughs> so predictable, man. Damn, that's a lot. Like, I must have gotten really scared. I left the Tommy and the MP5 at home because the server was getting too surgy and I just didn't want to lose my only guns early game. I was also making a fertilizer farm because I was hoping to dig into berries this wipe. Instead, I just took a python and went to some nearby shots. And soon enough, the karma that I was building up from killing all those spring guys with Tommies. Uh, let's just say I had a hell of a rough time. One there. I don't have meds. Okay, w okay. No, no, tengo, tengo, pero nada, me falta el... No es justo, bro, no es justo. Don't choke. Oh, of course, bro. We didn't get Rome raided, Pogger. <laughs> okay, what? But all these losses combined again turned the karmatic wheel to me. I managed to purchase a minicopter and I started digging around compounds to see if I could pull some yoinks. Potential yoinks? <gasps> no, they have turrets, don't they? I don't see turrets. Man, I want to send it so bad.
And after depoing that insane bank, the only thing left is Roman again. And this is where I met our antagonists. A Chilean clan who was not only using ESP, but uh, was incredibly obnoxious with numbers and roof campers. The timing, he got behind cover, bro. Behind me. How, ma how many? I came back with a Tommy, but they were already gone. So whoever was in the sewer vent just took the plane. You can't stand still in this game. As a solo player and more so in a server like Brazil main, you can't let stone on turn. <laughs> I just wanted to show this clip because this is just what it looked like farming in a server like this. Farming with the Bradley in the midst of just pure chaos. But the thing is, it's like a 30 v 20. There's just no point in getting in the way. You're just gonna get destroyed. Back at home with a high call, I crafted a flamethrower and two unfortunate gamers stood between my raid target and myself. I postponed the raid because the Chilean clan was just causing mayhem on the gas station. Cannot see him. He's roof camping. No, MP5 guy. How are you not dead? I thought I killed you! That's why I stopped shooting! How many do they have? I came back with a custom to see if I could fight them short range on their base, but this is where I found out the following. Going the way I'm trying to go, this fucker. I needed to cool off for a bit, and what a oh. better way to cool off than just torching our neighbor's bases. Really? Four? Bruh. After that I started looking for some more yoinks on the mini, and this is when I saw this. I leave. She shoots. This clearly meant that the Chile okay. thing was roaming. Maybe it was a time for me to try and strike them. I tried to build on the fresh compound and since I didn't see any response, I just ran and fetch boom. Are they responding? Okay, I think we're bringing boom. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Oh yeah, there we go.
They're currently roaming, chat. They're currently roaming. Clearly I placed a sleeping bag because that would have been a freaking GG on the raid. I'm pretty sure it... Oh, they're back. Oh, I need a TC. Oh! There we go, I can make a TC. Oh, I'm shaking so much, bro. Fuck. Ooh, mira ese achicuimi. Okay, now there's a lot of people outside, actually. I don't think I should even fight him while they'll... Okay, I think we profited, guys. I actually think we profited. And there's more. Bruh, bruh, holy shit. I waited until the area got somewhat cleared and I started transferring all the loot with my mini until this clan friend of the clan I had just raided stumbled outside my base. I tried to sweet talk him and play it cool with them just so that they wouldn't notice that I had the mini inside the walls and they wouldn't try to get in and steal it from me. Oh, te quiere matar. Oh, no, lo mató, siervo. No. No, boludo. No. Te cae, boludo. As I was hunting for animals, mainly because I needed animal fat for my mini to, you know, scout bases around, following a deer's path, it led me to my next target. Do you, do they always have to have like the bolt action shitty rifles or do people actually hunt with like big guns? Oh, boys, this looks like a pog target. What? How did I not see this one before? I immediately fetched boom. I wonder if this active. was day two of the wipe, and on the morning before I went to bed, I didn't even see the space. So it clearly couldn't be reinforced as much. But judging how they erected this whole thing in a couple of hours, they definitely must be farmers. Okay, I don't know what these door like. You, you guys see this? These side doors? What the fuck are these? This is definitely closed. So it has, has access to nothing. Alright, so drop down. Ow, ow. Okay. I don't see shoddy trap. No shoddy trap there either. Okay, what the fuck is this base, boys? Definitely we gotta raid in. Beds. That, okay, so this is the floor. Base. 
I don't see Shuddy Trap. Flea Burn? No Shuddy Traps in there either. We have some boxes over there, so we're gonna open that too. Boom. Huh? There you go. That's amazing. Okay, no shoddy trap. Box. Free tier 2. Where the fuck do I go? I think we gotta go here. Yeah, this is the way in. See that shit? What the fuck is that? Wait, not closed. Wait, no shit. Wait, no shit. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. What the actual fuck? Okay, I, I need wood ASAP. I need to place another TC. Jesus Christ, guys. Jesus freaking Christ. We got we gotta run and just start fucking transferring this shit. I transfer most of the boom and explosives, but that's where the story ends, boys. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please remember to share, subscribe, like all that bullshit if you like the video. I opened a P.O. box in case you guys want to send any kitchen supplies or any letters or anything that would be fun to open on stream. Uh, for the ones that don't know, every single Sunday we do cooking streams in which we cook meals for the homeless. I would love to see you guys there. And until the next one, boys, much love and have a good rest, friends.